what's up guys it is John and I'm here with episode one of my mini series talking about the White Sox this series will usually be filmed with Juan the other member one of the other members of three Bros TV but today I wanted to get an episode out tonight so we have I have a video to post and he cannot be here but in the next episode and the other episodes he will be here so we can talk about our favorite team the Chicago White Sox so let's get right into this I have my iPad with some stuff pulled up so let's check out I'm at, um, MLB.com and the, the White Sox feed and let's see what it says first thing I see when will Mankata be called up I think Johan Mankata will be called up in the September call-ups because we don't really need him in the MLB right now we need him to develop a little bit more. He's really, really good right now, but we need to develop so he can be a superstar when he gets to this league. And Tim Cox is a good call-up time for him because he'll get some MLB time at bats, and then he'll play a whole season in the 2018 season. And we have the best farm system in the league by not far, but we have a, a really good farm system. And trading Jose Quintana, where I'm going to talk about next, is big so Johan Mankata he's a good second baseman he could play second short and third but he's gonna be our second baseman and he has a big power by switched hitter he should be a really good player in this league we traded Chris Sale for him and Michael Kopech who is our number three prospect let me get the prospects um brought up right now so I can talk about them our top prospect is, you guys all know him, Johan Mankato. Our top prospect, like I said, is Johan Mankato. Our number two prospect is Eloy Jimenez, who we got in the Jose Quintana trade. Three prospect, Michael Kopech, a hard throwing starting pitcher that should be a good, could be our ace in the future. Number four, our international prospect who we just picked up this season, maybe like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Luis Robert. He's going to be a good center fielder for us. Number five, Lucas Giolento, who we got for Adam Eaton. And a, what a steal Rakan has got. Rakan, I give you props, man. Thank you for bringing the White Sox in the right direction, man. Number six, Rialando Lopez, who we also got in the Adam Eaton trade. We only traded Adam Eaton, and we got Lopez, Giolento, and two other prospects. Our number seven, Carson Fulmer. You guys seen him, he was up last year. Wasn't that good. He's in the minors, getting ready. He was a stunning pitcher, but I like him as a reliever, and that would be good. And Dylan Keese, who we also got in that Cubs trade. Wow, Rickon, man, he's getting, I just, oh, Rickon, you're a beast. Gar Foreman and John Paxton, please take notes from Rickon and bring the Bulls good. But I don't wanna talk about the Bulls now, this is talking about the White Sox. Number eight, Zach Collins, our future catcher. Him and Kevin Smith are gonna be good catchers together. Collins a lefty, Smith a righty, so I, I think they'll be betting Collins against righties and then Smith against lefties. So that should be good catcher because we haven't really had a good catcher since AJ. Number 10, closing pitcher, Zach Birdie. He's a good pitcher. He'll probably come up in September call-ups, I think maybe, or the next year. Number 11, Luis Alexander that's about it. he is gonna be i don't know how to pronounce his last name that well but he's an outfielder i don't know much about him but 12 alec hansen good starting pitcher i think they called him up for a game maybe i'm not sure dane dunning number 13 is the other pitcher spencer adams number 14 another pitcher and charlie tilson who i'm gonna round out in the top 15 he's a center fielder we got him for um Zach Duke last year before the trade deadline. He got injured though in a collision with um I think it was Austin Jackson. So he's been out forever and he still hasn't came back. Adam Eagle is number 19. He's our center fielder right now. He's been playing pretty good in the White Sox. So that's about our best prospects. We have a number one in our league. Let's see, let's check out a Charlotte night game.
let's see how the Charlotte Knights, if they had a game today, and let's see how everybody did. Theo Eloy Jimenez is doing. Oh, no, I think he's in William Dash, though. All right. They played. I'm not sure who they played. Today's Friday. And we took an L. We lost Fulmer. Form, Fulmer lost that game. Carson Fulmer. He, he started that game. He should be in bullpen. Telling them. We only scored one run. Um, let's see how we did. Mankata let off. He went one for four. Two strikeouts. He's betting 285 in the minor league right now. That is good. Nicky Della Messino. Or Dem not what is it? Demacchio or something like that? I don't know, but he's a good um he DH'd. He went 0 for 4. Willie Garcia, who we've seen in the MLB. Good prospect. He went one for three with a run scored. Rel Mile Liriano, who we picked up in the waiver wire. We haven't made to the MLB yet, but he is a good player. He went one for four. Danny Hayes, who made it to the Austin game for the AAA and the home run derby, went 0 for 3. Grant Green, never heard of him. Played third base, went 1 for 4. Jason Borges, our center fielder, went 0 for 4. Carson Blair, catcher, went 1 for 3. And Ronald Bueno went good. Went, our shortstop went 1 for 3. Our pitchers who pitched. Fulmer went six innings, gave up four, gave up four runs, four hits allowed, four walks, don't like that. And he only struck out two. Brian Clark came in, pitched two innings, gave up two runs, gave up four hits, only struck out one. Bobby Parno, a veteran, came in for one inning, struck out two. He so he did pretty good. So I think this will be the end of episode one of talking with the White Sox. So please, in the comments, give us some topics to talk about for the White Sox. And yeah, Juan will be with me next time. And tomorrow, I'll be posting this vlog right now. So it's like, let me see what time it is. It's 10.24 at night. I'll probably, this vlog will be up by 10.40, the latest, I'm pretty sure. Tomorrow, I'll be vlogging. I'm going to Wisconsin. My great grandma's birthday, turning 100. I'll probably vlog the car ride there, and I'll be writing my diss track song for the Cubs, and yeah, and I'll probably vlog then, and I might not vlog, actually, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, I think I'm, I might record a four if I get back in time, so I'll see you guys in the next episode, peace. Thank you.